this video we're going to show you how to turn a simple alternator into a powerful DC motor um, in this case three phase so of course you're going to need an alternator um, anyone will do even one that doesn't work because nine times out of ten it is only the voltage regulator inside that is no good um, and sometimes the brushes very rarely do the windings themselves burn out uh, Brush sets can be bought at your local Auto Sparky, relatively cheap if that's what you require. But um, like I said, nine times out of ten, the problem is with the regulator, and we don't need that for this build. So the first thing we're going to do, we'll undo this nut to relieve this from this tin plate housing here. Undo those three. We'll take that housing off, and then we'll have a look what we've got inside. Okay so we have our cover off. Bit of a mission with this one, not as easy as some. Um, here's the voltage regulator and we take those two screws out and we'll get that out. Um, our brush assembly here is there so there's one screw hiding in there, another one there, we undo those two, we'll slip that off. Um, and then we've got our diode pack here and we're going to have to drill these open rivets out, or hollow rivets, and then cut the wires underneath because I can't be bothered desoldering them, which is fine. So a little about this alternator, it is a 60 amp alternator, only a smaller one, but that means we can put in 60 amps at 12 volts, um, and if we go 24 volts, we get double our wattage, so 12 volts times 60 amps, 720 watts on 12 volts um, is what we can put through it, or at 24 volts, it's um, 1400 plus watts, so round about. So um, that's what we've got here, which will do just fine for a little go-kart project or electric push bike, what have you. Um, to run this one up, uh, what I have laying around at the moment <coughs> is just this three phase ESC um, just buy them off eBay I think they're about 15 bucks so you've got your power input on one side <coughs> and your three phase output on the other and to control this just for a bench test uh, we're just using this little servo tester so that just plugs into the ESC and allows us to use it as a speed controller Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get our um, regulator off, our brush assembly off, and this lot here, and we'll come back and have a look at what we've got. Okay, we've exposed our wires in my case. Um, it's got four wires, so it's the wire configuration, and you can see one here. It's got three ends of these coils going into the one that is a common or what would be the ground um, for a uh, electric motor come alternator or negative side. Um, so in this case it's really simple we just chop that bit of uh, wire extension off we don't need it a little bit more often than that put a bit of heat shrink over that those three wires and uh, these are our three output wires that we have to uh, solder our wire extensions onto um, to go into our ESC so I'll go ahead and do all that and then I'm going to reassemble the brush carrier on here which is a pain in the ass I couldn't have picked the worst alternator because this needs all the other bits put back on to carry the brush carrier or something for the brush carrier to bolt back on so I'll have to do all that as well in this case um, half the time the brush carrier is bolted to the housing itself and you don't have to worry about all that <clears throat> but in this case of course not I'll go ahead and I'll get all that wired up and um, we'll come back and have a quick look at what we've just done okay our little motor alternator motor is up and running I'm running it off my lithium pack at the moment it's 16 volts 4S pack uh, the servo tester is not the best 
uh, speed controller for this motor. Um, it goes into a test mode first which rocks the motor backwards and forwards and then sometimes it goes into self oscillation and not actually start up. So um, you would be need a better uh, speed controller but it does work alright. Now the as far as the power going into the brushes um, to turn the uh, rotor into our electromagnet is concerned. Uh, that's running from my power supply at the moment and that is what we're putting into it. One volt at one amp. So it doesn't take a lot but um, once again the more current you have going into that um, the stronger the magnetic field the more torque your motor will have. So. Um, We'll give it a little rev up, I have to do it slowly, if I do it too quick um, it stops because like I said this speed controller is not well suited to the job but Well, that's going pretty quick now. So, um, yeah, it does work, but we would need a uh, better speed controller. So if I wind it up too fast, it goes into that oscillation mode. Anyway, that's how it's done. So um, the three wires uh, from our alternator windings is going into our speed controller. Um, now if you want it to spin the other way, you can do one or two things. You can just swap any of these two wires over or swap the two wires from your brushes over to reverse the polarity of the magnets. So um, very easy and simple way to um, make up a little three phase motor from an alternator um, any size alternator will work um, they're all three phase but uh, yeah if you've got a um, decent speed controller 100 amps or something like that for this 60 amp alternator um, running on 24 volts this would be a very powerful motor alright our fun little uh, project for the evening and uh, once again thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in our next video.